Alright guys, welcome back to an episode of well, Path okay. of Exile. Let's seek a prophecy. Do I have any? Wet and slippery flesh, clinging feet and tongue. No matter the color before, now the earth is green. Again with the frogs? Okay. Alright, so we left. Where were we? The Ashen Fields. All right, tab. Let's see here. It's the way we came from the den. Yes. So. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Enemies. Come on. Half off already. Jeez. Enemies. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, got garbage. What's in here? Footman store to 200. Oh, got a golem here. This is, yeah, this is blocked, okay. More enemies! Trouble chest is empty. Scroll wisdom, armor scrap, scroll wisdom, frogs. Okay, what's going on? What's going on over okay? I can't do this just yet. What do you mean you can't do this just yet? Oh, enemies. Oh, these hurt. Oh, these hurt. Jesus. No, not the not the town. God damn it. Okay, back to Ashenfields. Get the heck out of here, spitting spitter. Does leech life, okay. What? Give me that. Got another one. Oh, there's two of them. Shit. Me. 
You got him. You got him, man. Come on. Storm. Is that better than a blade storm? Like, what was what is, what is superior? I can't do this just yet. Yes, you can. What's this? The, for the fortress encampment? here though behind these walls Just open it. I believe in traveling light. Holy crap. Okay. Mallet? Two hang mallet? No. Jeweler's orb. Wait, why am I hurt? Why? Stop spitting on. Oh, we got frogs. We got frogs. I can't do this just yet. Yes, you can. One more frogs. Get that frog.
I believe in traveling light. I believe in traveling light. That's not all of them. Shit. Wait, there's one over here. There we go. Wet and slippery flesh, clinging feet and tongue. No matter the color before, now the earth is green. Who the fuck is still you? Ow. Where is he? There he is. Oh, I just missed him. Yes, so what the fuck? I can't do this just yet. Come on, we got him. We got him. Come on. Groost? Who's Groost? Got him, we got him, almost got him. What? Jesus Christ, okay. That's Chris right there, okay. Come on, 
do some of that crap we done. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't do this just yet. Shit. He's almost down, he's almost down. Almost, 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 almost. <gasps> you got some run a cash. Hold on, hold on. Turn you away the tyrant's face and kingdom end without a trace. Hold on, hold on. I'll get rid of this. Wait, I can't. I can't. Okay, uh. Can't do that either. Um, hold on. Get rid of this. Let's put the axe here. Um, hold on. Hold on. Sakura gems to support by level five concentrated effects, increased armor and evasion, maximum life, reduce mana cost per enemy's charge, gain rampage. Max. Oops, my bad. Rampage ends. 274, 217, level 49, level 55. Fuck it. Drop that. Okay, um. Gene Hoberg. Okay, let's see. That's not happening. 54. What is this? Green and a number of sockets. Um, armor invasion, increased armor invasion, seven point six. Why is there a skip through here? Get the freak. Fifty five. That's level thirty three. Intelligence maximum. No, we don't need that. We're gonna sell that. What about this? Maximum life resistance. Oh, nope. 33 to 53. Really? Level 40? Sockets. That's three. But still, I need. Damn it. Level 56. Okay. 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 When you try to control everything, you ultimately control nothing. Relakesh has never quite been able to grasp that concept. Okay, where's Relakesh? Northern Forest. Alright, we got some people here we can talk to. Um, 
Is Valem their sin? Uh, let's see here. I be missing me granddaughter something terrible. You know, I used to tell Lily bedtime stories till she fell asleep in me arms. She loved the ones about Kishara. A tough as nails vile lassie. Said to have explored every coast, cove, and bay of this blasted continent with the help of her star. Some nifty artifact she nabbed from somewhere on her first voyage. Young Lily. She were fascinated by Kishara's star. Said to be fair humming with thaumaturgy. Able to guide its mistress wherever she be fixing to journey. Methinks me granddaughter like to imagine that one day she'd hold the star in her hands and explore the outer reaches of this world. Oh, I'd daily love to see her again. But there ain't no way I'm making that journey with nothing to show for it. She looks up to me, does Lily. So, I'm reckoning that star might put a smile on her pretty face. With such a gift in hand, I'd maybe have the guts to go visit my granddaughter instead of skulking here like some craven ghost. That's if some kind and brave soul fetched it for me. Dina's a pretty young thing, ain't she? Bosoms to eclipse the sun she has. Eh. Might be that I spent some time here. Get to know the lass at Tadmore. Never mind that she's young and alive and I be... Uh, old and dead. Once she hears me poetry, that is. Not a girly alive who won't want for a bit of the old rot tooth once he breaks out the earth. Uh, Tongue twisters and word plays. <laughs> Not that she'd likely hold much interest in an old ghost like me. Still, a man can dream, even a dead one. Ah, that lassie. Pretty on the eyes, I reckon. But she's got her knickers pulled up far too high. Bit uptight, if you ask me. Eremir, though he's a tad dull, tends to ramble on a bit. Still, he's a few interesting stories of his own. So might be worth chewing the fat with from time to time. Legend has it, Kishara got herself in some hot water with a certain queen at Ziri. Details are vague as to exactly how, but by all accounts, that Ziri were the most understanding of lasses. <laughs> Kishara, being the free-spirited sort, probably just pricked the royal ass with some spiky facts from the outside world. Almost lost her head for her trouble, Kishara. That Ziri took a ship and made sacrifices of her crew, forced the poor girlie into hiding. Still, Kishara being of a wily inclination like myself, she slipped through its Ziri's talons and raked out of the Empire. But before she left, Kishara hid the star somewhere near the causeway that leads into the old Val city up north, just in case she got caught, I suppose. Something like that, in the hands of a tyrant like a Ziri. Who knows what trouble she might have found with it. Okay, goodbye. For now. Always keep your eyes. Into the most dreaded of thickets you must go, I'm afraid. For there Grothkull the despairing sulks and schemes. The Val laid waste to her kingdom and placed her slaughtered children at her feet. Grief enveloped Grothkull, transformed her, flooded her mind with a singular thought. To share her suffering with those who had murdered her daughters. Though she has returned, her sanity has not. There is no fury like a mother bereaved. Okay. I wonder if Grathkar would still grieve for her children if she knew the truth. The Spinner of Shadows had no aspirations until Grathkar's daughters plotted against her. They saw her power over the people, her miraculous potions, her intoxicating lusts. They feared Arakali, thought she might threaten their legacy. 
Yet that's the curious thing about spiders. They only leave their web when you force them to. A temptress and a predator. Val legends say she crawled up from the blackest of pits during the creation of the world. No. Her beginnings were far more mundane. A mortal harlot whose endless lust for loin and lecherous delight saw her transformed into the very image of her dark desires. The Spinner of Shadows, they once called her. She sees herself as a regular goddess of love and has the romantically forged temple to prove it. That's where you'll find her. Yet there's little romance to the lady herself. At least, I doubt the corpses that now embrace her carapace would think so. Answering the call of a royal invitation, I visited the Spinner of Shadows as an emissary for a small and fragile alliance of gods. Mostly weak deities huddling together in terror of being consumed by their greaters. At this time, Queen Arakali ruled an empire, and so invited me to gaze upon her mighty works with appropriate wonder. If I'd looked past this pretense, I may have chanced to see her hidden desire to have me share her bed. For years, I lay trapped in her webbed sheets. Some days she enjoyed my prowess. Other days, we enjoyed each other. Yet this illusion of love and leisure simply veiled the morbid reality that I was not free to leave. I languished under her bewitching spell until the day the spider was betrayed by her own flies and sealed within that temple of her own fevered making. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye to you. You truly are a hero of the modern age, succeeding where even the ancient Val could not. I must say I'm really quite relieved. For a while there, I feared we were headed towards another theocratic dictatorship. Exile allowed me to be free of one. I had no wish to experience another. You deserve to be rewarded for your efforts. Here, something with a little insight would suit your purposes nicely. A book. Yes, I know of Grothgol, the grieving mother. She featured quite prominently in some of the vowel texts I restored during my time at the museum in Theopolis. After the deaths of her children, Queen Grothgol fled north, eventually finding respite amongst the refugees of her own shattered realm. Yet these loyalists saw their own queen as a weapon, a tool for vengeance. They nurtured her pain, transfiguring sorrow into hatred Hatred into violence. Like a grizzled bear, Grothkull descended into animalism and ferocity. Yet her caretakers foolishly underestimated the agony their bereaved queen harbored in her heart. Like a bear caught in a trap, Grothkull wrenched free of her human loyalties and slew her followers to the last woman and child. Through devastation, Grothkull ascended to divinity. Grothkull's pain has transcended ages, and she will vent that pain upon any and all she encounters until her grief is finally laid to rest. Okay. Keep your wits about you. Yes, I thank you. Though I loved him, I know Grust was lost to me the very moment he touched that vile abomination. I will weep over his passing for many more nights to come. But I am happy that you avenged his honor and freed him from his torment. There's an Asmeri shrine tucked away in the northern forest. Grust took me there, told me it was a memorial to those who had gone before him, a place where their spirits could rest. When he passed, he wanted his remains to be laid to rest with the bones of his people. His body. I find it difficult to even think about it, but I doubt it will ever be recovered. Yet there might still be a way. He gave me his necklace, the fangs he earned when he rose from boyhood to manhood, handed it to me for safekeeping only moments before... before Relakish. It's almost as if he knew what was to come. Please, could you deliver this necklace to the shrine for me? Put Groost's spirit to rest? I would do it myself, but the journey to the northern forest is not what it was. These lands have changed. 
and not for the better. Yeah, I'll take them. Sure, give it to me. Uh, let's see, sell items. I'm gonna sell you this. I'll sell you this. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, this. Sell you this. Sell you this. Sell you this. Goodbye. Farewell. Okay, so. I'm on ma I'm on its magic item, magic item, modifiers. Put this here. Okay. Skill point quest complete. All right. Northern Forest. <laughs>